Okay, here's how to beat the Blazing Bull Boss. First thing you want to do is take out these three guys. You don't need to take out the two guys up the back as the bull might, but he also might not. And if he doesn't, these two will chase you around and make life hard. So pull these two guys out by standing where I am. Don't go any further because you'll start the encounter with the bull. Then run back and thrust this front guy, thrust him again, you'll get a death blow on him, and then wait to Makiri counter this guy. You wanna make sure you run back so you don't accidentally start the bull encounter. Makiri counter now. All right, with those three gone, I'm gonna pop an Aiko Sugar, but the next part of this is crucial to making the fight go the way you want it to go. And that is basically means running around here and to this corner. The boss will be down there, stand at this corner, double dodge to the left when he gets there, he'll clip through the wall and go to the corner. And now the fight is in exactly where you want it to be. You can firecracker to stun the bull and then you can hit his butt. Now you can see that I was kind of wedged into the wall there and hitting his butt. That's exactly what you want to do in this fight. That's that's your ultimate aim is to wedge his, his butt into the corner of those walls in this area and then go to town on it. Now, to do that, you must not lock on to the bull. His lock on point, his weak point according to the game, is his head. But his head is also where those burning lot, that burning log is. And so, if you lock on to his head, what happens is the more you strike at him, the more the game will try to reorient your strike towards the lock on point, which in turn drags you towards the danger area. So, yeah, definitely don't lock on. It's also a bit easier to chase him around this area uh, when you're not locked on. So when he runs and you're, okay, he's gone down there. If he goes out of here, just stand at the corner and double dodge to the left again like he did at the start. So yeah, um, oh, I just used my ax because I accidentally switched my prosthetic key. That's all right, I'll switch back to firecrackers in a moment. So yeah, the objective of this fight is where possible to keep moving around to his, his butt and where possible, oh, you want, See, he turned really quick on me. The reason I survived that is because I double dodged his attack. There are some iframes, and if you can, if you do get into a slight bit of trouble like that where you're gonna get hit, there's two things to do. You can double dodge to take advantage of those iframes, but they are only slight. The other thing you can do is you can parry his uh, fire log. Uh, it is possible to parry it, like if he's only spinning his head and he's not charging, it's possible to parry it, but you will take damage doing so. So the best thing, in my opinion, especially if you're trying to note damage, of course, is to double dodge. So yeah, keep trying to hit him in the butt. Every time he moves, move in the opposite direction. Use your firecrackers every 15 to 20 seconds to stun him. I don't think less than 15 seconds firecrackers will work because he does get used to them. Uh, I was going to try to show you the corner strat there and I used them waste my last firecracker but that's okay okay he's coming from a different angle so I double dodge and in fact get used to uh, dodging with your button around him as opposed to just moving a single tap on your dodge button with your stick pressed uh, in the direction you want to go will move you around him a lot safer and quicker and that's pretty much what you have to do to win this fight you just run around not locked on stay on the opposite side to which he turns and hit him in the butt Use your firecrackers wherever you can. Uh, that was a Shinobi Medicine Rank 2, which is a latent skill that increases how much healing you get from any item that can heal you. That's a reward for killing him. Now, bear in mind, two enemies come out of that door after you kill him, so the fight's not really over until you finish these two guys. But once you finish these two guys, you can take a breather. Well, I hope those tips help you out. This boss is pretty difficult until you kind of realize you just have to chase him around. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye for now.